welcome back to another video. H Rask fan here. Um, this is the video update. It's a bit sad how many figures I haven't reviewed by now. I'm just looking at the pile. Yeah, but there's also some things that I want to announce, and I'll start off with the things that I can't show you in my hand. So I am working uh, very hard on um, another trailer for Scorpius Rex Attack Part Two and. The official name of it will be revealed. Um, I'm already working on the Scorpius Rex Attack Part 2, but I haven't made the legitimate opening for it. It's going to be a whole different setting. I'm not going to say too much about it, but it, it is very important to the plot point of the Part 2 and possibly more parts. I'm just saying. But um, I'm also working on a Halloween special stop motion so that all the stop motion stuff could delay other uploads that you may be waiting for, unfortunately. Um, and the Dino Room Project, I believe part 4 or part 5 or part 3. No, part 4. Part 4. But, um, yeah, part 4. It's coming soon, but I'm really trying because I have all this work to do. Um, I know the stuff in the school, and I... Cannot confirm what's happening, but there may be something happening in the future. Really cool. Two things cool happening, um, possibly vlog related, but um, yeah, I can't say a lot about those because it's mildly confidential. Um, and if you saw my showdown video, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna move over here so I don't knock the table anymore. But uh, the Jurassic World Gates tutorial will be coming soon. I'm going to find out how to make a tutorial for that. Um, I've been planning on it. It's not completely revealed, like, completely official yet. But it, it's, like, going to be in the, in the end. If it's to the point where it's in the update, you can, you have a very good chance that it's actually going to happen. So, feel free getting hyped up for that. Um, I don't know what to start with. I'm going to end with the coolest thing, in my opinion. Um... And I'll start with whatever I pick up first. So, I have gotten two more captives eggs. So, part two of the captives eggs. Um, I am planning on getting the mega egg. I just, I don't, I don't know when. Um, so yeah. Part two of the captives eggs. Uh, let's see this. Pro Ceratosaurus review. It's coming. Don't worry. Uh, Coliseus or Coliosaurus review. Uh, I, I'm, I'm more looking. Actually, I don't know. It's Coliseus or Coliosaurus. It might be more Coliseus, but you know the review's coming. Um, it's a great figure. Um, let's do, let's just start off with the small ones. So we got the Zunoceratops. Um, if you've been keeping up with my stop motions, you will know that, um, this little guy is in the Scorpius Rex attack. I cannot talk about what happens to him in the Scorpius Rex attack, because there may be spoilers if you haven't seen it yet, so. You can't talk about that. But, um, yeah, great figure. Um, let's get off with, uh, a bit of an old one, but not too old. We have the Triceratops. This was, I believe, in a video update a little bit ago with the Pteranodon figure, but unfortunately that Pteranodon figure has broken and I'm planning on getting a new one on Amazon, which surprisingly they have so many figures like that aren't being sold in stores anymore. Um, I'm planning on getting some of those because some of them I'm actually kind of wanting. Um, I don't believe I'm going to get the Sound of Ceratops because it's just a repaint of it. If the repaint is really good enough, I may legitimately get that figure. Like the um, Car Car Dontosaurus. The repaint for that is beautiful. And I'm honestly really tempted to get it. So I don't expect a review for it, but it could happen. Oh, here's a, I think this is the first wave of figures for Camp Cretaceous ever. Um, we have the K-1000 
camp adventure set. I got that. Yeah. It's a lot. The camp adventure set coming soon. I didn't want to take all of them because that's a good uh, four figures. We'll save the beast for mass and then we'll do my uh, big thing. So this is maybe the second coolest figure until the biggest one. If you've been keeping up to date with my stop motions, um, like I've been saying, you would know that this review was destined to come, because this guy is actually in my Baryonyx Limbo unboxes itself. It's a pretty cool video. I'm, it might sound egotistic, but I, I believe a lot of my stop motions are really good, and just saying, man, if you want to watch a good stop motion, watch the Scorpius Rex attack. It, it took me over 20 hours, maybe exactly 20 hours, but it was really hard. Actually, no, that definitely took me over 20 hours. Like, I believe 1,000 or more frames was a minute. It was not less than 1,000. It was not less than 1,000. So there's a, there's a lot of frames in that. Okay, we're getting into a new one that I do plan on reviewing very soon, because this will be a little bit of an early review. Um, but we have the Oranosaurus, or, or our Oranosaurus, but I would like to say, I, I like to say it, or Oranosaurus, you know, just Oranosaurus, not our Oranosaurus. You know, it's a bit easier to say Oranosaurus. Um, the paint isn't exactly like the show, but uh, there's really nothing to complain with, complain with this figure. Um, I know a lot of people hate this. Please don't hurt me. I have absolutely no problem with this. I understand why they put it here. There was no other place to put it. Because, I mean, it would have looked worse if it went here. They couldn't put it on the sale because it's too thin. Um, and yeah, I picked to put it here. And this is what they're doing for it. They can't just make a completely new line within just three figures of one and then say, okay, we're just gonna make a completely new one for this one with buttons up here. I, they couldn't have done that. They're just gonna stick with what they have here. So I think it's completely valid. And I think it looks fine that they put that there. Here's one that you would also know that I have if you've been keeping up to my stop motion. The Ocean Protector Mosasaurus. This guy is one of the big baddies, or one of the supposed boss battles in Scorpius Rex Attack. Uh, I said that, but it's still a surprise when it happens. Um, I don't think there's anything really teasing it in the show, so it's pretty unpredictable. It just flies in there. I thought that was really cool. But, um,. Yeah, really nice scheme, and uh, as in Scorpius Rex Attack, we'll swim out looking for something else. You probably wouldn't understand that if you haven't seen Scorpius Rex Attack, because it's, it's not an exact thing. Here's something I'm very excited to, to finally, finally talk to you guys about. There's actually videos on this that were deleted because... It was really just me making skin textures and stuff and figuring all that stuff out. But I finally figured it out. I didn't really use the skin texturing. Um, it's very apparent on the nose. But it, it, the, both parts aren't glued together yet. That's my one, That's my main struggle. I'm trying to find out how I can glue them together. If you have an idea in the comics, please do um, do it. But uh, So let's finally talk about this. We got my first sculpture, the Carnotaurus. I think it's really cool. Got the glow in the dark paint here. And we got some nice paint here. So this will probably be the thumbnail. Right here. But so uh, yeah, thank you all for tuning in to, uh, I guess, this month's or this week's. There's a very low chance that it's this week's, but a lot of what I'm talking about will be appearing this week. Um, it's most likely going to be a trailer for the Carnotaurus sculpt 
to uh, type it all up for that, cause uh, <laughs> I just have to glue them together and then it's done. But uh, me here can't seem to do it just yet. But uh, we're getting to that part. But uh, yeah, this is probably the longest video update I've ever done with um uh, an impressive 10 minutes. But um, yeah, that's all I have to say for today.